Hello, this is Haiku, and as promised, long time coming, gonna finally get back to playing some Popper. So uh, this is the season of Explore Popper. Uh, we're gonna be doing our ladder, and I'm gonna be playing a deck that's probably gonna be pretty similar to um, what I was playing in a historic Popper. So um, with the printing of Hopeless Nightmare, I really enjoyed playing um, uh, Black red uh, variants and I think in um, Explorer it's worth it to splash the white. Um, you get Dawnbringer Cleric, Banalish Sleeper, and you get um, uh, Omen of the Dead Loops going with the Aviary mechanic. So I think it's worth it even though there's slight downgrades. Um, the other uh, little downgrade is you don't get the Bajuka Bug uh, bouncing um, plan as well since Bajuka Bug's done um, Explorer. The other issue is um, there's not as good mana fixing in Explorer um, so I'm playing a Navigator's Compass as a conceit to try to um, fix my mana a little bit. Um, the big, the biggest feature difference, uh, whatever you want to call it, between Explorer and Historic is the lack of Graveyard Hate, specifically Relic and Bajuka Bog. Um, and so um, I think that's going to be really helped out by uh, Torch of the Tower being uh, available. And then um, in the sidebar, I'm playing the full four Rotten Reunions. Um, so let's play a game with... Owl. Uh, so Owl, he likes to play uh, green decks, Alex, um, and he 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 probably knows what I'm on. Um, um, it's not a not a secret that I've been trying to brew and and get Mardu to work in in Explorer. I mean, it's not like trying. I mean, it's just tuning. Tuning is what I should have said rather than trying to get it to work. Um, so here we go. Let's select deck. So yeah, I think this is all around the the most consistent um, deck that you can play. Um, it's just like the mid range, mid range yes of mid range, um, and you could really kind of tailor the sideboard given your three colors to kind of whatever you need to answer. Uh, but in a blind field, I think this is just a fine um, uh, build that I have. Okay, so he is on green. Um, I think it's more important for me to get set up rather than uh, land the Throbin. Yep. It's almost like we were destined to know what each other were playing. Um, so let's get my blocker into play. Um, I, hmm, I was I was about to say I'm gonna take this block all day, but um, I'm a little bit hesitant to because I don't have a lot that can deal with four toughness anyways. So I kind of wanna try to answer it without letting it grow. All right. So it looks like it's going to be one of those games. Uh, so I think I'm just going to dig for answers. So let's friends resolve. Okay. Can't play either of those this turn, so I think I'll go ahead and uh, play the tap land for now. Um, so I can play those two. I'll bounce the Barb Batter Fist. Um, I think it's fine, yeah. I have a 2-2. Two, two. Um, I guess I could play Throbin and have a blocker. Yeah, this guy's pretty good. 6-6 six, six, Trampla. So I think I want to try to block down the Jewel Thief and hold back the Elvish Mystic. So let's go here. And I could replay the Batter Fist, um, but I think this is just a better plan. And then hope 
hopefully next turn I can draw into a removal spell. I actually I guess I have to draw into double removal spell. This is the reason why I'm I favor red in my mana base so much. Okay. Nine. I'm gonna face uh, so nine damage, so I'm still at five life, so I just have to answer Lifecraft Calvary either way. I think that's fine. Okay, so if he has a protection from it, I'm in trouble. If he doesn't. Okay. So what's the what's the play here? Impulse or synth? Big impulse. Okay, he's out of cards. I got a torch for the jewel thief. Um, unfortunately, that's not going to do it. So let's get rid of the last card in his hand. So I guess I should have chump blocked. I miscounted. Is blocking would have allowed me to live one one extra turn. Um, so hopeless nightmare. Yeah, that doesn't change anything. Okay. So no attacks. Um. Yeah, I don't think there's anything to. Uh, draw me out of this unfortunately so I think it was just uh, I should have just thrown away the throbbing gained two life been alive for one more turn let's see if I can uh, bluff him into respecting me having a second removal spell for his life cal calvary all right, he's going for it. Mm. Yep. GG's. All right, so mistake there. Should have chump blocked, miscounted. Not miscounted, I just didn't really kind of process it. So let's keep, uh, let's add for his big boom booms. Um, and sleeper is really good against his protection spells. Don't bring your cleric. Not so good. Okay. Prowler is okay. I don't think I want end the festivities though. Navigator's compass I don't need. Need gas. Um Yeah. So uh, the, the sleepers have to do just a lot of work. Uh, what do I want to get rid of? So I'm going to rely on the sleepers. I kind of like keeping the inspectors so I don't have to constantly sack the actual sleeper. So cut two of the barb batter fists, I think. Want all the one mana stuff to potentially answer his elf turn one. Okay. All right. So I can answer an elf turn one. Then I can just inspector. This really doesn't do much. <laughs> Yeah, I think I, I want lands. 
All right, got lands. Okay, got the hopeless nightmare package. Guess I'll get rid of this one. I forgot that this one doesn't target. It's been a while since I played some popper. <laughs> Uh, okay, unfortunate that I can't kill his creature. Yep. Unfortunate. So in the meantime, I'm not getting be any, getting any damage in. Yeah. All right. So I do have more red sources in the deck than any other thing. So hopefully I can draw draw one. Really need to get this jewel thief out of the way, but unfortunately the actual removal spell I have oh, he has two anyways. Never mind. All right, this is bad. The only thing that would make this worse is if he has a third jewel thief. Looks like he has a fight spell. Let's see, they're more of a clock here. Oh, I could have double blocked if only, if only. And now he's going to empty his hand for sure. I'm sure he knows I'm have a hopeless nightmare in hand. Uh, this just ended up so bad. I don't think there's any way for me to draw a sequence of cards that's going to bring me back in this game. Oof, that might. So I just have to go through this and then hope to double block a Jewel Thief. Um, and then if he has the answer for me double blocking, then, then the game's over anyways. There's no way for me to come back from that. So I just have to hope his hand is all of the five mana cards. Then if he draws a spell, I'm dead. If he draws a non-spell, I'm dead. So, uh, yep. Had to get it out of his hand anyways. Okay, so I'm basically dead. Well, that keeps me alive at least. <clears throat> Let's see if he can finish me. Unfortunate showing from the deck. Um, I think the mole was fine, and I think the keep after the mole was fine as well. Um, you know, I don't think a five card hand would have had a better shot at beating him. Wow. Yep. Oh, just a turn too late. Or not not a turn. <laughs> Turns too late. Let's see the top of my deck. Ah, my red cards. Alright. So pretty pretty unfun. Uh well I well actually the, the first game was pretty interesting. I just messed up. But then this game was just a stomp because I didn't draw my third color. So the cost of going three colors, pretty, pretty exemplified there. Um, but I'm going to stick with uh, playing around with this deck.
I think it has legs despite, um, you know, losing some cards. I think it keeps the, re retains a lot of the functional cards um, of the deck. Yeah, um, just unfortunate turnout. I'll see you guys for another game.